and into the water we go. I really don't want to get my feet wet. And I just realized that. How to launch a sea -Doo. Hmm, good question. If you just bought a sea -Doo or you just ordered it for this coming summer, uh, you're probably getting nervous about launching it for the very first time. Well, not to worry, I was in the very same situation as you uh, earlier on this year. So what I've done, I've put this video together to show you how to launch your sea -Doo correctly and uh, what to do, the little checklist to make sure everything goes smoothly and also to make sure other boaters don't get angry with you because you're holding up the boat ramp. So uh, a few little rules, a little bit of etiquette and uh, I'll show you how to do it. I hope to uh, be able to put all your fears behind you and be able to successfully launch your sea -Doo on your own for the very first time. The key to a very successful launch and a safe launch starts at home or wherever your sea -Doo is uh, stored. So whether it's in your garage at home or in a parking lot or in a storage facility, it all starts there. And this is uh, how I do my preparation for my day out on the water. All right, so you're ready to go out on the uh, water, but uh, what you need to do first is get your preparation done before you actually leave the house. And I'm talking about here in your own home or wherever you store your sea -Doo, your personal watercraft, and it starts right here. Uh, right now, my sea -Doo is kind of open, and there's a reason why I do that. Um, if you look down here on the floor, I have all my stuff laid out, my dot ties, my bungee cords, shoes and stuff like that. Um, it's stuff like this that uh, I need to put in the sea -Doo before we leave. And it's that's the important stuff to start off right away. Uh, once I've got that in, I then hook up the trailer to the, uh, the vehicle, and then I do an inspection all around the, uh, around the sea -Doo, the trailer to make sure everything's fine. So what we'll do right now is just get everything loaded into here and we'll start that process. So you always need to plan on what you think you're going to need for each day. So uh, today, I know for a fact, um, I'm going to need all of this. Uh, oh, by the way, the reason why I leave this open, uh, especially when I'm in the garage, is if you leave wet stuff in there, I tell you what, it really does pong after a while. So you want to air it out. As soon as you finish the trip, just pull your stuff out, put it on the floor, let it air out. The only thing I'll leave in here usually is the paddle uh, being plastic. It doesn't really need to come out. So all right, let's throw the stuff in. All right, that is all in. So what's next? What we, need, what we now need to do is hook up the vehicle safely, make sure it's all secured, then we'll do a full inspection around the vehicle. All right, now that you've got everything hooked up, you want to double check it so my power cable is securely in, my lock is on, the coupler is down, uh, my cables are attached, everything is secured, the winch is tight, the arm is up. Then I come around the back of the sea -Doo, and I'll do my first visual check of the straps. They're a little loose because they've been sat here for a couple of days. So yeah, yeah, nice and tight, give it a little pull. And while you're back here, it's always good to just check your drain plugs, which are just here. So they're tight, they're tight. See, this one's loose as well. Like I said, I've been parked up for, about, actually it's over a week. So, there you go, nice and tight. So there you have it. And usually when I'm back here, this is when I usually grab one of my vests, whichever one I'm gonna use, and I throw it in the truck. And then I pull the uh, sea -Doo out, and I'll do another inspection one more time. Now you have the ski out once again. again. You just want to double check over everything. Uh, it's always better safe than sorry. So once again, I open it up. My stuff is inside that I need for the day. The only thing I haven't put in so far is my key to start it, my cell phone and my personal items, and they'll be in my dry bag, which I'll get shortly. Come around the back of the sea -Doo, Double check the straps, nice and tight. Now check. The drain plugs, tight, tight, all right, I 
think we're just about ready to go. So we'll just uh, power up the vehicle and we'll check the lights. Make sure everything's working good, then we can be on our way. And trailer lights are on. All right, so you got your sea dude down to the uh, waterfront and now you want to launch it. Uh, the best thing first to do is find a parking spot like what I've done. Find somewhere to park it, park it, secure it, and then have a little walk around the marina or the boat launch area where you're launching from and get a feel of the place, familiarize yourself with it, see what you have to pay, uh, see what the ramp looks like and see what the conditions are like and so on. And then when you've all done that, you get your sea dude prepared. So first of all, let's go and have a walk around and have a look at the facilities here. All right, so you make it down to the boat ramp and the first thing you wanna do is now have a visual look what the conditions are like, what the ramp is like and so on. So as you can see, the water is nice and clear. There's arrows on the ramp to give you an idea which way to load from and which way to come back in. Uh, there's also a little notice there for boaters. So basically, you wanna get your watercraft, you wanna get prepared, you wanna come along here, drive up here, and then you can reverse it down here and launch. All right, now it's time to get everything set up on the CD before you launch it. And you wanna get yourself prepared as much as you can, because the last thing you wanna do is being parked over there, blocking the ramp and being a complete dick and pissing everyone off. Uh, that is the wrong sort of thing to do. So the etiquette is be prepared uh, before you get to the ramp, before you go down there. So like I said, get into these parking bays, get yourself familiarized with the area and then set your sea up. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna put the fenders on, we're gonna put the ropes on, we're gonna undo the uh, trailer, the, uh, the straps at the back and uh, double check the plugs and then we can go and launch. All right, just open it up. So I'm gonna need my fenders for the dock. These stop you from getting dock rash. So we'll stick them on, just like that, simple. Great, just push in, clip on, done. Um, I'm not gonna get my feet wet, so I'm gonna use a couple of ropes today. Usually I go in with my feet and then jump on, uh, but I'm gonna try and keep dry today. So uh, first dock tie will go in here like that and this one just put in your seat just wrap it on like that and then when you put it to the uh, boat ramp once you've launched it you can secure it like that and it'll stop your back end from pushing out and with this one i'm going to use this to grab hold of when i launch and then i can just pull it around so we'll use this one as well all right next to remove the straps clip undo some trailers have little holes like this. You can just hook them in like that. And while you're down here, once again, just double check your drain plugs, make sure they're secured. Last thing you want to do is be out there and you've got a drain plug open and you start filling up with water and you start sinking. Not good. So if that one's checked, now undo this one, put it in the eye, check the drain plug and that's secured as well. All right, visual inspection, everything looks good and we're ready to launch. Oh, I nearly forget. Before I launch, I need to get changed. All right, Sea Doo is now prepared, and uh, we will now make our way and launch it. Ramp is clear. There's no one on it. All right, this is the bit you never want to rush. You want to take your time here. You don't want to make mistakes and end up being an idiot. So you want to take your time. Let's pull up in a nice straight line. Get into reverse, check your surroundings. Now it's harder than an F-150 because the trailer is smaller than the truck. So I can't always see it. But as soon as I see it come into my left mirror, I turn the steering wheel the other way slightly. So it just slowly maneuvers left and right like that. Okay, now I see it left. I'm gonna make it come over left a bit more before I straighten up. I can still see it in my uh, mirror. Okay, now a little bit more, now I'll straighten up. All right, straighten it up. There we go, it should be straight. Uh, into the water we go. I really don't wanna get my feet wet. And I just realized that. Oh. 
Should be able to just drop this in now. And catch it. Tie it up here, just lock him in like that. I don't really need that, I can put that away in a minute. And now I'm launched. And that is how you launch a sea -Doo. Water's quite calm, so we can start getting prepared right away. Take these dock straps off. Normally, I would take these off and secure them out in the water, but it's very quiet here today and the water is very, very still. So I can actually do it today with ease. Normally what I like to do is uh, just get out of the launch area, just a few feet, and then uh, I let it sit in neutral for about a minute. Let the engine warm up, let the components warm up uh, before we get going. And this gives me another time to just check around the, the vessel, make sure I've got no loose ends hanging around, there's no bags, there's nothing. So quickly just check. Right, completely free from attachments and we're free to go and enjoy the water. <laughs> 